Hi, what's up, beautiful people out there? This is Ashish Chauhan from Ashir Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all of you guys are doing extremely well. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can edit your girl portrait like trending Instagram photograph, like a moody and you know, like uh, trending photos which you are generally looking in the Instagram very popular so in this video I'll show you how you can edit those kind of effect and photograph of a girl in Photoshop so before getting to the video just press the like button on this video you know so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset like this for you guys and if you still not subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest updates of our videos preset which generally post every day also visit our website that is www.asturecreations.com from there you can download backgrounds camera preset lightroom preset lut's pngs and every kind of you know photo and setup just for free and also guys to follow me on instagram just type asture creation so guys let's jump to the beautiful world of photoshop So all you have to do is just capture some kind of photograph in indoor like you are just sitting on the chair or something like that. Now here first of all we are going to crop the image for our Instagram profile. So just select the ratio that is 8 is to 10. Now just to stretch the image. This one is really looking perfect. Now let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool. So let's select the quick selection tool and just click with the uh, plus icon now just roll all over the subject's body to make it selected you can also you know use your pen tool to select properly now all you have to do is here the important thing is to select the hairs of the subject so all you have to do is just right click on it and select the select and mask option from there and select and just select the select and mask option or in photoshop cc if you are using photoshop cs6 then you can see refine edge tool so you can select that uh, tool and let's select the select and mask option and here make sure to select the second brush that is brush edge refine edge brush tool now just click on the plus icon and all you have to do is just roll on the edges of the hairs of the you know model so it will automatically select the desired selection of the hairs very minutely and precisely automatically it will detect the edges now just hit ok and you can see it is totally converted into perfect selection now just right click on it and select leva copy option so you can see that your hairs are selected very perfectly in order to see you can let's create a new layer create a black color so you can see your hairs are you know totally perfectly you know selected here i have already selected this hair now here the important thing is to just make it more darker so just click create new layer and create a clipping mask on it select the brush tool press the alt key and just select the nearest color and just you know change the blending mode to multiply and just like this way all you have to do is just paint the nearest color of the image also you can just add some highlights if you want to add let's select here also So this is how you have to select the edges and just paint it with the nearest color of the hairs. So you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after. Now just merge it with the background layer. So it is remaining so select the pen tool and just select all and press ctrl enter and just press delete key so it will delete, delete uh, image now here we will just uh, 
create new layer and create a clipping mask Sel select the brush tool and pick the nearest color of this image and just paint it with the color make the opacity to 100% Just like this here. Now this one is really looking perfect. You can just paint it like this way. Just select the nearest color by pressing the Alt key. Just paint the edges of the, you know white is which uh, the edges are looking white just paint that edge so that you know your photograph will look very much original and realistic so no one would be able to identify whether you have cut out the image or it is captured from the camera so it is very necessary to paint the image or, or the edges of the image here let's uh, select the quick press select the quick selection tool and just select this much area or you can select the magic wand and just select this much area and press delete key to delete it <laughs> let's paint the area over here just paint it with the black color Let's paint the skin tone with the black piece color. I think everything is just perfectly, you know, selected and painted. So now just merge it with the background layer. You can see the difference. Here was the before and here is the after. You can see the difference. It creates a huge difference so it is very much necessary that if you want to get a realistic editing then you have to do this kind of you know stuff. You have to do this process of you know just making your edge of the subject or the model perfectly. Now just merge it with the background layer and here now let's add the background so go to the file click on open and let's browse the background. Here is the perfect background. Just drag and drop over here. Go to the edit, select the free transform tool, press shift and alt key and just stretch from one corner to enlarge the image in a perfect perspective. And this one is really looking perfect, I guess. Now here it is very much necessary that good that we have to blur the background. So go to the filter, select the box blur instead of uh, select the box blur because this blur will actually you know create a perfect blur on the image and make your subject to look very much amazing we will select the box blur and from the background we will just reduce the yellow color of the image so just select the red yellowish color and just decrease some saturation Just make it a goldish yellow. So you can see the difference. It is now actually giving your photograph a perfect look. Here, first of all, we will just reduce the highlights from the model because it is actually looking very much bright and overexposed. So let's go to the filter, select the camera filter from there. and we will reduce the highlights from the image so just reduce the highlights and just decrease the whiteness and decrease some exposure now here we will just increase some contrast increase the shadows increase the black color and decrease the highlights let's decrease some whiteness 
Now you can see the difference here was the before and here is the after. It is actually looking very overexposed and here we have reduced the highlights. Now just hit OK. Now it is looking perfect. So just all you have to do is just merge all the backgrounds. First of all we will just blur the edge of the subject or the model. Select the blur tool and select the hard drawn brush and just blur the image of this on the edge because by blurring this your photograph will look actually very much original which we want so it is very much necessary that you should always do the, this process of blurring so here just do like this way So finally here we have done the process of you know blurring the edges now don't do the blurring process on the hair because we want the minute details of the hair so just keep as it is so just merge all the layers from here right click on it and select merge layers and if you want to add some lights on the background on the backlight so here you can add to create new layer and create a clipping mask select the brush tool and just pick the whitish color or the yellowish color and just add some strokes of it on this area this will actually create like shadows is coming from the background lights is just showing up on the background in the blending mode to screen now this one is really looking very much you know original so you can see the difference because there is a light on the background so we are creating the light on the health now just merge all the layers again let's crop one time just select the crop tool and just crop the image now all you have to do is go to the filter select the camera filter from there and you can just go to the preset tab and just select any of the presets from here if you want to get this um, aqua blue vignette look you can just select this There are a lot of preset collection I have already made for you guys. So you can da download this old preset from our website for free. This one is actually looking very pretty much perfect. Or this one, yes. This one is really looking very much perfect. So just keep this as our preset.
if you want to give a matte look then you can use this color effect This one is also really looking very much, you know, moody and is really looking very much perfect. I'll just keep it now. Here you can decrease some moodiness. Now this is really looking very much perfect. You can increase the saturation and adjust the color effect. You can increase the clarity of the image. and just hit ok so finally this one is really very very looking perfect photo if you are planning to make this is a perfect photo for your instagram profile and this you can just make your photo to look very much amazing so you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after this is really looking very adorable and a perfect photo for your Instagram uploads. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed then just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset like this for you guys and if you still not subscribe to our channel then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest updates of our videos and preset which we generally post every day and also you know visit our website that is www.actualcreations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, LUTs, PNGs and every kind of photo editing stuff just for free also guys follow me on instagram just type actualcreations so guys thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our videos bye bye till the next video